Hi everybody, this is Ion Stuff. I heard some news the other day that caught my eye. California passed a number of new gun laws in 2016 and were supposed to be enacted this year, 2017. Now I thought some of you might be interested in knowing how this might affect you. To some, this might be old news. Apparently, the Department of Justice had just re-released this month new regulations to the Office of Administrative Law to legally approve the regulations. DOJ withdrew them back in February of 2017. Now some speculate that pending lawsuits or the transition of Kamala Harris to the Senate may have caused the delay in these laws. I am not a lawyer who specializes in firearms, so please do your own research before making decisions relating to these new laws. Before moving to the main topic, at the end of this video, I will list some of the other important laws that went into effect this year or will go into effect. In this video, I am going to explain SB 880, which relates to center fire, semi-automatic, AR-15, and AK type rifles. A center fire cartridge has a primer inserted at the bottom of the round, and a rim fire cartridge does not. A semi-automatic firearm will fire a round and chamber a new round every time you pull the trigger. California's SB 880 redefines what an assault rifle is and was approved in 2016. This new law went into effect January 1st, 2017. SB 880 targets center fire, semi-automatic, AR-15, AK type rifles. These rifles also include the standard restricted features and with a bullet button. Bullet button rifles are now rifles with a detachable magazine, therefore they are assault rifles. There are five standard restricted features of an assault rifle. Number one, a folding or adjustable stock. Number two, a pistol grip. Number three, a forward vertical grip. Number four, a grenade or flare launcher. Number five, a flash hider. A hybrid muzzle device with flash hiding capability is still restricted. A muzzle device that is advertised as having flash hiding or flash suppression capability is restricted. A compensator or muzzle brake is not restricted. If your rifle with standard restricted features is a semi-automatic, fires a center fire cartridge, has a detachable magazine, and required a bullet button to be legal in 2016, this new law targets your rifle. If your rifle has a fixed magazine, it is not an assault rifle. A fixed magazine means you must break open the action of the rifle, disrupting the function of the firearm by separating the upper and lower receiver before the magazine can be released or can be reloaded. This is only possible with AR-15 type rifles. If you have an assault rifle per SB 880, the Department of Justice wants you to register your rifle as an assault rifle. The registration process must be completed before January 1st, 2018. Because of the delay with DOJ releasing the regulations, it is not sure if this deadline will be changed. As of today, DOJ does not have a process in place to register your assault rifles. If you do not wish to register your assault rifle, you have three options that must be completed before the initial deadline of January 1st, 2018. The first option is convert your rifle to a featureless rifle. This means replacing all the standard restricted features with ones not restricted or remove the restricted features that are not required. A featureless rifle can possess a standard magazine release and have a detachable magazine. Now your options include use a fixed stock or pin your adjustable stock preventing it from being adjusted. A folding stock must be eliminated. You can use a fin type grip or use a Thordson FRS-15 stock system or a Hera CQR stock system. Replace the flash hider with a compensator or muzzle brake, or remove the muzzle brake altogether. Remove any forward pistol grip and any launcher of any type. The second option, you can convert your rifle to a fixed magazine rifle. You must install a system that requires you to separate the upper receiver from the lower receiver before the magazine can be released or reloaded. Options include an AR mag lock or a Patriot mag lock system. This option is not possible with AK-47 rifles, so you will need to use a pistol grip with a fin on it and remove any flash hider. Note that using a fixed magazine option to comply with the law gives you some disadvantages. When using one of these systems, the bolt must be in the forward position or in battery before the upper and lower receiver can separate to remove the magazine. If you have a double feed malfunction, 
The standard process to clear it is to first rack the slide and remove the magazine to clear the double feed. If you cannot clear it, the bolt cannot go into battery and therefore you cannot separate the receiver to remove the magazine to clear the malfunction. This is a known issue with this option, but this is a simple and affordable option to be able to keep the restricted features. The third option is to move the rifle out of state to a state that the rifle is legal or to a free state. Now the options I gave you to make your rifle featureless or to have a fixed magazine are just some of the options. There are many other products out there. Now I did not give you every single detail written into this law. I just gave you some of the important points that you may need to know. Now here are some other new laws that went into effect in 2017 or will go into effect. AB1135 specifically bans the bullet button and works with SB880. SB1446 bans magazines holding more than 10 rounds. AB857 puts restrictions on non-licensed manufacturing of firearms, such as 80% receivers. AB1511 criminalizes loaning of firearms. SB1235 adds restrictions to ammunition purchases. Now I hope this video gives you the information you need to do further research to help yourself. Thank you for watching and have a great day.